Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 15 online game. This is actually an unranked game. This is against Ushbag. If you guys remember, you know, a month ago or so, I did a team plays and stuff with Ushbag and Madden 25. So we're pretty cool. We know honestly I knew him before those, but we played a lot of those team plays and stuff and we got a Madden 15 in game in, because why not? You know, I got the Redskins, I got RG3, gonna try him out. Also gonna try out Alfred Morris here. Not a big fan of you know power backs like Alfred Morris who aren't that fast, but I'm gonna try him out in this game anyways. Yeah, I'm, I'm no save myself from subbing in like Hulu or someone else though so far it didn't really work out He could barely leave there and then third down ten I didn't even mean to call this play But I called it anyways for Hulu and got some first downs. Those are right, but um Hooshbag actually has the live com version in this game as I throw a pick here actually before I get to that this pick I threw a comeback route as this dude almost takes it for a pick six here I threw a comeback route. I was just trying it out I figured you know There's not a better time to try out a comeback route than in an unranked game but it definitely didn't work. I don't know if I mistimed it or I j it just wasn't open. Because it looked like it was it would be open when he made his break as we dropped a potential pick six there. But it, I don't know. It was just horrible. By the time I was let go, as soon as I let go of the ball, as soon as it was thrown, I was just like, oh, crap. Antonio Camardi's going to pick that off. Like, he was there way before Deshaun Jackson was ever going to get there. As, unfortunately, he gets a fourth and inches there. And, um, yeah, so that's not good for us. But Ushbag, like I was saying, he has the live commentary version of this game. So, you're definitely going to want to check that out because it was, you know, you know, a little bit of enjoyment to hear how I react in live during this game. Why not? So, that link will be in the annotation. And while you're there, you might as well subscribe to Ushbag because he's a pretty cool dude, pretty cool commentator. And he's not getting a touchdown, but he's still a cool commentator and a cool dude. So, um, I suggest you subscribe to him. Anyways, he gets a field goal there since we stopped him on third and four. He just threw a little drag route, taking what I gave him. What I gave him was definitely not going to be the first down, so, you know, good for us. Unfortunately, we get popped there by someone, and we, we're not able to get that ball off. And then second down, look at that sucked-in animation there. I was about to hit the spin move, and I got sucked in. Then third down to nine, I pretty much almost threw a pick six there. We're both dropping pick sixes right now. It's kind of ugly though i'm definitely on the uglier side at least he's getting some sort of decent run game but the one really bad thing about playing Rushbag is that he knows my offense better than pretty much anyone else because he knows all the audibles i do when i would like to run a play and stuff like that he knows my offense to like a dotted eye and by the way check this play out look at this superman swap by this guy like all right that's cool i mean you made the tackle and then you flew another 10 yards that's, you know, realistic. But <laughs> anyways, yeah. So Ushbag knows my offense super, super well. So it's really hard to run stuff against him when he knows what I'm doing. So I just got to hope that, you know, I could mix it up a little bit just enough to, you know, I could get away with it, you know. But so far, it's not really working out. Meanwhile, he, you know, you would think I would know his offense. And I do. I know a good part of his offense. He runs Carolina. But he's not running the Carolina playbook since he knew I knew about it. The difference between me and him is that he actually knows different playbooks. Somewhat. I don't. I don't really run different playbooks. Too lazy. Flea Flickers are in this playbook, so I run this one. So, um, unfortunately, we gave up a sweep day play there to Andre Ellington. And what I realized was he was running a lot of sweep plays with um, Ellington there. So, I figured eventually I was going to have to figure out how to stop those. First, though, I got to focus on the offense, which has been horrible. I throw it up to Jordan Reed, but RG3 launches up to the sky there, so it ends up being dropped. And then third down to six, this was just horrible. I don't know what I saw, but I just quick threw it. And, you know, I'm just so off right now. I'm punting the ball here. Like, you know what? Just have the ball. Have the ball. I'm not even going to get this fourth down the way I'm going. Have the ball. Do whatever you got to do with it. Just don't score a touchdown, please. And I'm pretty sure I get ball coming out of half. Or he gets ball coming out of half just to make things worse, you know? So you're second down and six. Dude somehow makes that catch. Bring up a third down and four. Really needing to stop. And thankful we somewhat do get it. It's fourth and two. But he is going for a clock winding down. He's looking. Carson Palmer. Pressure coming. Oh, Rackpo, you would have picked that off. I mean, it's a fourth down. You like to drop picks on fourth down, but not when they would be a potential pick six. So with seven seconds left, trying to get in field goal range here, calling the screen pass to Alfred Morris, and Alfred Morris doesn't have the anything to break that. I mean, it didn't really have much of a chance, but he definitely doesn't have the speed to make it a chance. So after that play, I think after that play, or maybe after one more offensive play, I just kicked Morris out the game. I was done with him. I, I'm just not, I just don't do well with um, power backs and Madden as we drop another potential pick six. And that's the second one by Arakpo. I'm like, dang, man. Like, come on. Here, third down. This connect, like, since we were both doing a dual live comp thing on the, for his video, uh, we were talking, and the connect, I had the connect feature on, and that connect was screwing with me big time, man. Like, it was, it would audible, like, I think, like, I would say one out of every 
like eight plays, it would mess with me. It wasn't like dramatic every single play, but it was like one out of every eight plays, it would screw with me, including that third down. It sent like all my linebackers on a blitz, but it worked for us because the pressure came in before he was able to get it off. So yeah, there was a bunch of people open, but the pressure came through, so that was cool. That was like that's just, what RG three. I'm at a loss for words. What in the world was that? Third down and nine. I try to hit him with that same run play just for the hell of it. Then fourth down, I'm like, you know, what? I'm hit, I'm gonna go for it. You know, I don't even know I can make this field goal a four bet. I've been struggling to make fifty yarders, so I ran hurry up. Thought I could get it, and I'm pretty sure RB was about to get open, but I got knocked down right before I was about to throw it. So. Um, the protection's definitely not helping out right now, as, um, Carson Palmer does his best RG3 impression there, badly overthrowing that one, bring up a third down that we badly need to get a stop on, which we do, but now it brings up a fourth and three, which once again, he is going for an I run commit accidentally, only for him to drop the pass again. I don't even know how the hell I ran commit, honestly, I, I'm pretty sure I remember not even paying attention to that play, I, I think I was, like, talking to, like, I'm pretty sure my mom came in the room or something like that. We were talking about something. Next one, you know, I look up at the screen, and my thing is run me. I'm like, are you serious? And then he drops the ball. I'm like, all right, cool, cool. So this game is just a mess right now, mainly for me, because I have no points heading into the fourth quarter. I'm being shut out. I'm struggling, and I'm freaking RG3 throws, overthrows a touchdown pass right there. Next play, throwing an in route to Jordan Reed there, who makes the catch at the one-yard line, definitely needing a touchdown. So we call it a play action because I figured he was just not going to... I needed that touchdown, man. I couldn't risk getting a fullback dive that didn't work. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to hit the play action. It's definitely going to get a touchdown since he's going to sell it on the run. And that's exactly what happened. So the underrated part of this game is... Our defense has been playing pretty well right now. We've been getting stops and stuff like that. We're shutting him down. It's just the offense that's struggling, but now the offense is going, hopefully the defense can get us to stop on third and five, and that's exactly what happens. Ryan Kerrigan off the edge, and we punt the ball. I paused the game to put Deshaun in. You see that stupid punt block thing coming up on the screen. I probably messed him up a little bit when he was trying to punt the ball, but it was still a pretty good punt for him nonetheless. Now, all of a sudden, it's a three-point game. We got a shot at winning the game here with 2.30 left. We could go on a game-winning drive at RG3. Two-minute warning hits. Finding Jordan Reed. He sends the blitz. And, oh, Deshaun, hold your block for just a little bit longer. Nonetheless, first down. And I try to run this one, but some dude comes in unblocked. Thankfully, Roy Hulu Jr., you know, this is best march on Lynch impression to get us back to the line of scrimmage. So I try running a screen pass here, and then I try taking off an RG3. And that was promising. I could have broke that one off. So third down, I'm like, you know what? He's not going to expect the wide receiver screen again. And I run it again. But Jordan Reed misses his block, and Deshaun goes backward, and just like that, I'm out of field goal range. So now, with 26 seconds left, I just need to get in the field goal range to tie this game. Forget winning the game. And I called the wrong play, so I said, you know what? Four verts. Screw it. Game on the line, running four verts. This is a disaster. I can't find anybody. But then we reroute Jordan Reed, who I put on that curl route, and he gets the first down with 17 seconds left. We use our first timeout. Next play, looking, looking. RG3 shaking around, trying to buy some time, then taking off. RG3 out of bounds with nine seconds left at the 13-yard line. Next play, read option. Robert Griffin. Oh, we could have broken that play off. That would have been big. Five seconds seconds left I was like you know what I can't risk running another play and not getting the field goal out of this so I just went for the field goal even though I did have a timeout I just you know what I couldn't risk that so we punt we script the ball here and we are going to send the game to overtime so that was a great safety play there by him at the end there because I broke that one tack or that one miss or whatever that could have been the game winning touchdown instead here we are in overtime and look there's coin tosses that's good to know there's actually coin tosses in overtime but I don't like the coin toss when he wins it so, that's, I guess they got rid of the overtime coin glitch that way. So, no one knows the overtime coin toss. But he got it anyways as the away team. So, that hasn't worked too well for us. But, like I mentioned before, the defense has been playing pretty well since he scored the first 10 points of the game. So, we just got to keep it up. But now, you know, he's just running the ball on overtime. And I'm just like, alright. Eventually, Andre Ellington's going to break down. Because he's not even subbing in another running back. It's just Ellington's taking all of these. So I'm like, alright. Take hits like that and we'll see what happens. Eventually, we'll get those stops. And then he all of a sudden he comes down 5 Wow, I'm like, alright. We can get this stop. Maybe a game-ending pick. Carson Palmer looking. And oh, I think it's Tracy Porter who missed the shot. And then third down, he smartly runs the ball. He says, I wasn't really expecting it. And Ellington stumbles forward for the first down. You see Ellington, 14 rushes for 88 yards. Actually, he didn't get the first down. It's fourth and inches. Game on the line. I didn't even realize. And he does get the first down. Uh, yeah, finally for the first time, he brought a different running back. And that's Hughes who gets the first down. Next play, Carson Palmer rolling out. And Carson Palmer taking off almost for the first down. I'm like, oh, really, Carson Palmer? But check out that clock. This has been a long drive. Since he's just been running the ball and no hurry up or anything 
it's just it's past the two minute warning now. I still haven't even touched the ball. I might not touch the ball, but I don't stop him before he gets into this end zone. He's only 29 yards away with a minute 13 left, and he continues to run the ball to the outside with Ellington for the first down. 23 yards away, minute 8 left, he's continuing, now he comes out, play action, throwing it to the tight end, who makes a spectacular behind the back grab, are you serious man, can't drop that for me, next play gets the first down, runs hurry up here, Carson Palmer, time winding down, giving it to Ellington, Kime continuing to run, he runs hurry up here, only 5 yards away, Palmer, Palmer, what's he gonna do, he hands it off to Ellington, Ellington gets the touchdown, and wins the game in overtime. Oh, that one sucked to give up. <laughs> it's just, I couldn't do anything about the run game. I was just like, maybe this will work. Maybe this will work. Maybe I do sugar like this. Maybe I run this kind of sugar, it'll work. Just never worked. And we end up losing the game. So, good game to him. When me and Ushback play, it's usually a close game. I wish I could have gotten a shot at the ball, but it is what it is. So, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed that great overtime game. Subscribe for more Man 15 gameplays, and I will catch you guys next time.